everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun because Easter is right around the corner to talk to you about what um, kinds of things that you can put in a toddler's Easter basket. Well, not quite a toddler, but <laughs> um, my son is going to be 15 months on Easter. And so I thought it would be fun to just sort of share the few things that I put in his Easter basket because he doesn't really need a big bulk of toys and he doesn't need a lot of junk. So let's get started. So I'm actually gonna go through everything that I have in the Easter basket and then at the end I'll give you a kind of preview of what it looks like all set up and done. So right off the hop, this is his little Easter basket. We just got it at the dollar store last year and I just um, think it's cute to go ahead and use the same one this year. It's a little bit warped and it's not the best but it's cute because it's got sentimental value for me because last year was his first Easter. So I just filled it with some of the fake grass in there and then um, I'll just jump right into kind of what I'm actually gonna be giving him for Easter, so what he's actually gonna be getting. So a lot of this stuff is stuff that um, we kind of just needed to get for him, and so we're putting it in his Easter basket to kind of bulk it up. Um, but we got him this cute little pair of shorts because summer is coming, and he doesn't have any shorts that fit him, clearly, because um, it's been winter. So a little pair of khaki shorts, um, and then we got this cute little, um, like, it rattles, and it's got some candy that he probably won't even really care to eat. But he actually found this at the dollar store himself and thought it was cute. And like I said, I don't want to buy him a bunch of like big bulky toys. And I just sort of thought that was fun for this age. He likes music and he can press these little things. He actually picked it out, like I said. So um, the other thing that I bought him, because I thought they were so stinking cute that he can wear that day. And it just looks cute like in his Easter basket. It just makes it look more Easter-ish. And so some little ears and then um, a little bicycle. Easter Bunny, again, something he picked out at the dollar store, but I just sort of thought like for, you know, a dollar, that's kind of a cute little thing and it comes with a little sucker. So the other kind of little toys that we got him, um, we got him a little Mr. Potato Head. These are actually on sale at Superstore um, for a dollar. And how cute is that? And I mean, everything comes apart just like a regular Mr. Potato Head. It's just like a miniature sized version. So I set it all up for him um, and I'll put it in his basket like that and then he can rearrange it as he wants. Another thing that we got for him that was kind of a, need, <laughs> not really a want, something we were going to get anyway, was some socks. So he got three pairs of socks and then he picked out this cute little um, stuffed animal lamb. So sweet and it's got the little story of Easter on it um, and it's so soft. Well we were at a Christian bookstore just kind of looking around um, in Yorkton the other day and I just thought it was so cute not to buy. He's kind of in this stage where he just wants to cuddle everything and like little stuffed animals, little soft stuffed animals. I just think it's cute that he just like snuggles in. So I thought that would be something cute and also I like the fact that it has like the actual reason for why we celebrate Easter. Then in his basket we got him a whole bunch of those um, tinfoil wrapped eggs just to kind of decorate it up and he likes these he knows what they are I actually really love them I put them in the freezer and then eat them and he's found them a few times and eaten them um, and so he'll know exactly what this is when he sees it <laughs> another thing we got him was some sidewalk chalk this was a really good deal I think it was like a dollar at Walmart um, and it's got four different colors we don't have a big sidewalk because our driveway is gravel we've got a sidewalk outside in front of our house and so I think it'll be fun in summer to take him out and go play with some chalk. The next thing that we got him to kind of go along with it, we have not used this stuff with him yet, is paint. I am so excited. So I got four different kinds of paint for him and so um, after Easter we're gonna sit down and maybe do some finger painting or some brush painting on some paper and stuff. Um, he's just getting to an age where that's really fun. This age is a lot about sensory and exploring and he just wants to stick his hands in things and you know color and all that sort of stuff. So I think this will be just a blast to sit down and actually paint with him. And the very last thing that I actually have in just his Easter basket are books. My son loves books. Um, it was Dr. Seuss's birthday just recently and so these were on sale at our superstore and so we picked them up. So there's a couple of our favorite Dr. Seuss books there. And then these are some of his favorite books and they are just from the dollar store. They're all like um, the fairy tale books and stuff like Jack and the Beanstalk, Goldilocks and Three Bears. And they're so inexpensive. They're like $1.50 each. Some of them are a couple of bucks. Um, the year before Jake was born, uh, my sister got him a whole bunch for Christmas and he loves them. So anytime I see a brand new one, I go ahead and pick it up because it's such a cheap um, gift and he really, really likes them. They're just very colorful pages 
and there's just um, you know a lot of a really long story and so we picked those up for him as well and then the very last thing what would be Easter if you didn't have an Easter egg hunt right so we picked up this giant bag of mini eggs that believe you me he will not be eating by himself because these are too delicious for me not to eat so this will be for Jacob, but it'll also be for everybody else. Um, we'll all kind of just share in on it. But I thought it'd be fun to do this. So we'll hide a few of these, maybe inside if it's not very nice. And then I also got a bunch of these eggs left over from last year that you can kind of fill. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably take, you know, five or six of the little mini eggs, put them in this egg, and then hide them. And I'm hoping that it is nice enough out that we can actually go outside with Easter being late this year. Um, normally we still have snow, but with Easter being so late, um, it will be nice to hopefully be able to enjoy the sunshine. So there you have it. It's all set in there. So nice and cute. He's got all the books at the back, socks and stuff at the front, and then I've got all the chocolate eggs sort of just randomly put throughout. And then when I set it down, I'll probably just set um, his uh, like paints and stuff on either side of the actual basket sort of just set up there nicely for him. But yeah, that'll be his little Easter basket for Easter. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful if you've got kids that are around that age. And give me a comment down below if you've got other things that are really great ideas for this age group because I find it's hard to find things that are going to be fun and entertaining for them that you know aren't like just big toys and aren't like junk food do you know what I mean so anyway comment down below get a conversation started down there guys I know we can all help each other out kind of figure out you know for Easter there's still some time left um, maybe I'll add a few things if you guys give me some good suggestions or maybe one of you guys will read one of the comments down below there and have some ideas extra for yourselves anyway guys Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.